In this video tutorial, we'll go ahead and we'll see how to actually create a imaging or a gallery web page. So basically you would have a bunch of photos that you would like to show to your friends or to the world and you're building a web page. So these kind of pages, they do not have a lot of text and basically they're just there to represent your photos. Okay, so I'm back to my uh, dashboard and I'll quickly show you what we are trying to build. So this is something that I've previously done. I have actually created a couple of um, galleries, image galleries. So there's one concerning London, there's one from Barcelona and there's one from Paris. So basically what I did is the web page I had before where I had my blogs where I actually wrote about different places. I'm actually going to build on that and I'm actually going to insert some galleries and some photos. Now you can of course have a blogging and gallery web page all together. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to only record and build a gallery or image web page. So basically if I click on London here, a new web page will open where all of the photos in this gallery will show like so there's going to be a featured image here and I'll have all of the images in here and I can click on them and actually this will open in a new pop-up window like so and I can actually move through the pictures and as you can see this will automatically actually resize the uh, window to the appropriate size of the picture okay so I already done that, I actually built a couple of pages, a couple of galleries beforehand and what I'll do in this video tutorial is I'll actually build another one and as you can see I still have the Europe, Asia, Australia and US as the menu here so if I was to go into Europe I would actually see all the gal galleries regarding Europe, okay? So let's go back now to the back end and the first thing that I had to do is actually to get a proper theme for my web page. Now you can choose any different ones but what I did is I actually went and I've chosen the one that looks like this. So basically this gives um, in a way a modern metro look something that uh, we have with uh, Windows 8 nowadays. So basically there is no text whatsoever even though you can include text in here. I've actually decided to go ahead and just build uh, picture galleries and of course if you enter any of these galleries down the bottom you'll find a place where you can leave comments so people can come here and they can actually comment on your gallery okay so I went to my um, themes and the one that I've used it's called Victorico so it's this one here of course like I said you can use any of the other themes but I like this one and let's have a look at it a bit more so this is what we are after, so we'll have all different categories or different galleries here and once we click on that it will actually open up that particular gallery. So it's quite simple and quite clean as I like to say it. And basically you can find a few more information here, you can actually go and look at the widgets and a few other things as well. Okay, when it comes to widgets, what I've did, I've installed a particular widget and it's actually called Simplest Gallery. It's the simplest way to integrate WordPress built-in photo galleries into your pages with a nice jQuery fancy FX and whatnot. Alright, once again to actually find this particular theme you would sorry this particular plugin you would go and add new plugin here you can just type simplest gallery and hit on search or hit enter key and when page opens this is the one that I've actually installed the simplest gallery plugin there's more details here and it's pretty much straightforward as we have seen before so nothing extraordinary here you'll find some information here the installation is very easy and you find some screenshots here as well and other notes and whatnot but like I said it's very easy to install and it does not require any sort of programming knowledge or whatever once again if you do know how to program if you uh, do know HTML for example or PHP you do not need any of the plugins you can just go ahead and create new posts and actually create new galleries okay now to find the settings for this particular plugin it's a bit more trickier it actually appears on the settings and you will find simplest gallery so if you click on that this will bring some general settings for this particular plugin basically you will have the gallery style you can choose from two different ones so you can choose a fancy box without labels or with labels and then you can actually select some of the FX that you would like to use once you've done those two uh, once you're done with those two settings you can hit on save changes and that will actually save your changes 
okay so let's go ahead now and let's build a new gallery okay so to do that all i have to do is like i've done before i'll go to posts and i'll go on add new well what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert some photos and the photos are going to be regarding let's say new york okay now if you move down you'll find this bit here which is actually the simplest gallery um, add-on or a simplest gallery plugin so basically this is what we are working with and our gallery is going to be uh, transferred to simplest gallery straight away so if if you remember when we started we actually went and we inserted the images here we can do it exactly the same and then we would go and select here gallery and we'll do that anyway now and I'll go and select USA and what I'll do now is I'll go and I'll hit on add media and I will actually go and let me look I need to upload the files first so I'll go and upload the files that I want to alright so my files my photos are uploading now and I actually use drag and drop method to upload the files and I'll just wait for the files to upload so I'm actually building a new gallery for the New York pictures so basically I'm gonna have all of my New York pictures in this gallery and there's going to be integrated and linked within my web page okay so a few more seconds and this should be done and then we'll have a look how to actually go and add those photos and you will see it's quite easy all right all of my photos have been uploaded now so what i will do now is i'm actually going to hit on this create gallery link here as the name suggests this will actually create a new picture or a new photo library and those photos that i have just installed that i have just uploaded are actually pre-selected as you can see if you want to add more photos you would just scroll down and find a particular photo for example this one this one's from New York and just click on it and that one will be included as well once that is done you can actually come here and you can actually write some title if you wish so I can just put New York USA caption alternative text and some description uh, these fields are very important when it comes to CEO so basically uh, you would actually go and insert some caption here and some alternative text and the description and you would enter your keywords as like I've said this will help your CEO later on and it will be a lot of easier for your customers and your visitors to actually find your page alright so I've done all this I'm not going to enter any of the text here and what I'll do is I'll hit on create a gallery then I'll hit on insert gallery and basically this is all it takes for me to create a new gallery okay so this is the gallery I have just created and if you can you can also see that it's actually got a border around it so if I go and edit it I will actually be brought to the same page I was on before so basically I can choose here whether I want so whenever person clicks on one of these photos what's going to happen I can take him to the attachment page I can take him to the media file or I can do none now the columns, I can have three columns, I can have two columns or I have one column, well basically I've got how many, uh, seven photos, so three by three should be okay, so I'll put it as three, random order and I can actually have the size of my, of my image, so I can have it as thumbnail, medium size, large or full size, basically this will actually shrink it all of these pages all of these photos to a thumbnail size okay so I'm pretty happy with that and what I'll do is I'll actually just go and hit on update gallery okay before we publish let's have a look at what our page looks like now so I'll hit on preview okay this is the actual gallery they have just created so I've got my seven photos and if I click on any of these photos it will actually take me to a particular page for that particular uh, for that particular photo so basically this is our individual and I can have a look at this photo I can even enlarge it if I wanted to like so and change it to the next one and then I can leave the comments in here so basically this is for each page each uh, for each uh, photo you would get a separate page and then you can leave the comments there as well okay so let me go back and let's change that now to what I have it with the previous with the other galleries so what I will do is I will put this to media file and I will hit on update gallery and once again instead of publishing I will go and preview it and this time around we should actually see some changes when we actually click on the photo 
we're going to get a photo just open in a window like that so this is a full size okay let's go back and what I'll do now is I'll actually go in here once again and so we've seen the attachment page we have seen the media file let's cl click on none for, for now and update the gallery I'll actually preview it and now when I try to click on any of these photos I won't be able as I have set the options to none okay let's go back now and let's go into it once again and what I'll do I'll leave it as attachment page I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to hit on update gallery I hit on preview and let's have a look at our gallery now okay so this time when I actually click on the photo I'm going to get that pop-up window and this will as I said resize according to the size of a photo and you can click through all of these actual photos and have a look at them all and like before down the bottom there should be a comment section where people can actually comment your uh, web gallery okay so let's go back now and what we need to do one more thing is to actually uh, set a featured image like we did before so basically we're creating a post here that's got all of the photos and like we did before we actually had to set up a feature photo and let me have a look I'll maybe choose this one let's see the size okay so I will use this image as my featured image and just down below you actually find the uh, like I've said some of the options so basically you can go and choose whether you want the labels or no labels should you choose with labels you can actually go back into here and you can open this and actually you can put captions in, captions to these images here so for example we can say New York uh, skyline and for this one we can put New York downtown and you know you get the idea New York at night and the rest you can do as well so if I hit on update gallery and if I was to preview it this time around we'll actually get exactly the same effect except our feature image is going to be uh, appear at the top and if I hit on any of the photos I'll actually get that tagline or that some description down the bottom here so basically that's actually uh, been enabled through this option through this option here okay so we can go with the labels or without the labels or we can just hit on default and we can actually save that as well okay if I went with a, a default setting what I would get is when I open this particular page this particular photo I'm not going to get any of the information like I had the caption here like I had in the previous in the previous case okay moving back of course you can enter some text here as well if you wanted to okay so basically let's recap we actually went ahead and we actually inserted a new post we added some photos to this new post we have selected the format so we're selecting a gallery and this is the most one of the most important things we actually select the category on the USA we have actually then gone and see uh, adjusted our settings when it comes to how the photos are open and now we are actually ready to publish our gallery to do so like before we'll just hit on publish button and this will now publish this whole gallery to our web page all right so I'll wait for it to load okay and this is actually the end result as you can see this is my landing page my home page and right at the top I have a new gallery which is called New York and you can see when I actually hover over the images it gives this nice little sliding text effect so basically I will get the date when this was created and the name of my gallery and the same applies for any other galleries and if I click on this gallery it will open a new page and you can see that right at the top I will have my featured image which actually gives the whole page a more modern and cleaner I would say look and then just 
down below I'll have some information and some links so this is a gallery this was the date when it was created and who it was created by now if I click off any of these three images it will actually filter down all the galleries within my home page or web page to actually display uh, for example if I click on January 12th this will give me all of the uh, categories which were actually created on January the 12th or if I click on John Smith all the galleries created by John Smith will be displayed moving all the way to the bottom I'll actually find that this was actually posted in a USA category I can hit on this link and actually bookmark this page and down the bottom I can actually post a comment okay right in the middle is where my photos are and if I click on any of these photos a pop-up window will show and I can actually scroll through all of the images and as you can see this is actually the window is actually getting resized according to the actual size of the photo okay there's one more thing I would like to show is that is if I go to my main page or even from this page I can actually just go straight and hit on USA and this will actually bring me to the page where all the galleries regarding USA are actually displayed now that's why it's really important that you do your categorization well on your page as this will actually interlink all the available galleries with all the available pages and that's something you do not have to worry about actually doing manually so when you actually set a gallery to a particular category that's what is going to be linked in so for example for this particular case there's only one gallery in this category USA and it's been displayed here but if I was to go to Europe I would have actually three different galleries so I would have London Barcelona and Paris so basically just make sure that first of all you got your categories worked out the way they should be and then when you actually add a gallery to a um, category you add them correctly okay so basically we have just seen how to add a gallery and you can repeat this procedure for many different galleries and basically the number of galleries that you can add to this particular theme is unlimited so that's how you would go about actually creating a gallery or a uh, image web page using WordPress for